Okay, so quick disclaimer, if you know, you started off searching for cooking videos and you ended up on some YouTube journey and you somehow, uh, I don't know, somehow the title got past you, disclaimer that this video is a tarantula feeding video. We are going to be feeding a bunch of really, really big but beautiful and fascinating spiders. If that somehow is not for you, take this opportunity to click off the video. Although I do encourage you to stick around because you may grow to appreciate these incredible animals. That being said, if you're still watching, you're here for it. So, hi guys, my name is Dion, and if you don't already know, you're watching Reptiliatus channel. In today's video, we are going to be doing a tarantula feeding video. If you like what you see here, don't forget to subscribe down below, then ding the little notification bell afterwards so you don't miss another one of my videos. I have plenty of tarantula playlists you can check out, I'll link some at the end of the video, and a few videos throughout. But let's get right into it everybody, and I hope you enjoy. For today's question of the day, I want to ask you guys what tarantula in this video had the coolest takedown? Let me know in the comment section down below, maybe put a timestamp or something like that. And as always, I will give your comment a heart and we can engage in a little bit of a conversation too. Let's get right into it, everybody. All right, guys, so the first tarantula we're going to feed is a small tea wagon sling. So let's go ahead and give them a dermestid larva, which is a beetle that you find in your crickets often. I think they'll enjoy that. Oh, got it. There's the spider. And they have the larva. Sweet. All right, guys. Next tarantula we're going to feed here is a pretty defensive Ceratogyrus marshalli, straight horned baboon. Let's see here if she is interested in eating. You go, girl. Nice. That was awesome. She did great. All right, next we have a Ceratogyrus darlingi. This is the rear horned baboon. Let's see if she wants a cricket. Oh, nice. This is a juvenile female. Beautiful spider. You can see her rear horn on her carapace. They're absolutely gorgeous. I have one other juvenile that is few molts behind from another completely separate source. I'm pretty sure that one is male, so fingers crossed I can breed these down the road. Okay, everybody, this is one of my favorite tarantulas I own. This is my Kilobrachy species Electric Blue. This animal molted recently. It is absolutely stunning. Hopefully we can get it to come all the way up here and you can see the bright colors. Holy crap. <sighs> that was insane. That was just, oh man, there you are again. Ooh, look at that color. Okay, I have an idea. We're gonna get this spider to come back up for a second cricket because I think they'll do it, but I'll film it in slow motion. Let's see how that looks. All right, everybody, cross your fingers that this is gonna work because it would be super cool to see. Here it goes. Okay guys, this is my sexed juvenile female Megaphobema robustum. Let's go ahead and see if this gorgeous lady would like a small superworm. Oh, nice. She got it. That was a freshly molted one too, so it should be pretty soft, easy to chew. And of course she put dirt in her water dish. So we're gonna have to clean that out and fill it up after. But look at these beautiful spiders. They are just stunning. 
Megafibema robustum. Okay, everyone, so I'm fairly confident this is a juvenile female, Seriopagopus species Hattie Hattie. I mean, I know the species, but I'm also fairly confident it is a female animal. Let's try and see if we can coax her out with a cricket. Ooh, nice. Next, we're going to be feeding a Ceratogyrus sanderi. This spire is actually pretty sketchy, like it bolts a lot, so hoping it's gonna behave here. Nice. I'm hoping it's a female, but I think it's probably a male, to be honest. I don't know, we'll see what happens. But yeah, that is a lovely animal. Okay, the next tarantula we have here is my female ornithoctonus species, uh, Oreotibialis, which is a, I think, Thailand fringe. Beautiful, beautiful tarantula. It's just gorgeous. Let's see if she's hungry for this superworm. Can I take that as a no? Looks like a no, but look at that spider. We'll see if the next one's hungry. I have two of them. Okay, so here's another Ornithoctonus oritibialis. I'm not sure about this one being sex. The other one is a confirmed female, but this one is not sex. Let's see if it wants to eat a superworm. It's a bit of a big meal for this one, but... Oh. Nice. Dang. That was pretty solid for a takedown. They've got it by the tail though, or the end of the abdomen, so I don't know. It's gonna squirm around. They'll probably reposition themselves. I guess the body's stuck in the webbing. That was pretty awesome. Okay, so the next spider we're feeding here is one of my four Carabina versicolors. Are you hungry? Go ahead, it's gonna get away again. Yeah, 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 get it. Get it. There you go. Good job. All right, guys. So the last spider we're going to feed in today's video is my beautiful Acanthoscuria geniculata named Dorothy. This is a sexed female. Let's go ahead and give her superworm. Woo, what a takedown girl. She is so fast. It's not even funny. You know what? Let's give her one more. Why not? Can I come for this? It's over here. It's over here. She is going crazy. I think she's not fond of all this light. Do you want this? Get it, get it, get it. Oh, nice. Look at that fang action. Oh, it's getting away. Pick it up. Pick it up. There you go. Look at her. She's going crazy. This girl is very happy to be eating. Wow. She just folded them up in her chelicere. Fangs are stabbing and poking and juicing. That's one happy piggy tarantula. And she's one of my favorites. Lots of sentimental value. Lovely little Dorothy. Well, guys. Besides the fact that that superworm looks pretty sad, it's the way of life, I'm sorry little one. This was a pretty awesome feeding video. I mean, <laughs> there's still tons of tarantulas here that I'll feed off camera, but I think you guys got a good glimpse at some of the feedings and there's some sweet takedowns there. So don't forget to answer today's question of the day. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I took the opportunity to try and feed an array of different size animals from my beautiful family of tarantulas. Let me know, I've been thinking about doing like a full tarantula tour where you can see every single one of my spiders. Honestly, the only thing that deters me from doing it is the fact that it would probably be as long or longer than my longest isopod tour, which if I recall correctly is like 57 minutes long or maybe even an hour and 20 minutes. Really long video. I mean, I can split it into parts, but We'll see, because there's a lot of spiders back there behind me. I don't know, let me know if that's something you want to see, and maybe I'll consider doing it. Cool, guys. I really appreciate your viewership. Thank you so much for watching. You can catch me on these social medias down below. I have a Patreon, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook page. See you there. If you want to support me on my Patreon, link is down below. 
My name is Dion, thank you again for watching, and as always, I look forward to seeing you guys in another video again soon. Check out this playlist for some cool tarantula videos. Bye.